So I'm just hanging the doors. Um, you've got to put a small little pin in there. Uh, it's best to put the pins in before you build the uh, the whole structure, <laughs> which it does say in the, uh, um, the instructions because I didn't. They're three mil by 12, three mil wide, 12 mil long pins. Um, but I felt I've actually just put these back in. But I found that if you, that's what I'm using anyway, just want just that and I can just put the pin in there and you can just slot it in. So I tried with a pair of pliers earlier and um, didn't get anywhere but that uh, anyway they're, they're already in there those ones so the door should fit I've just got to uh, adjust the hinges a bit, I think, on this. Quick close-up of uh, how these hinges go in. Now, I've got the uh, small little um, uh, rod inside, it's just outside, but you saw me put them in earlier. So that just hooks in it goes just hooks in on there and then these little um, locking pieces just go in at the top I've just had to take the arm out again actually to get that in because I've got to put that in but you can't do it with the arm in, uh, installed and then just a small screw we'll hold that in That's in there now. Um, I've also just uh, installed the um, servo to open and shut the door, which I'll show you in just a second. But I just wanted to put those locking pins in, so I've just taken it all back apart again for a second. But um, bear with me and I'll show you the doors working. Just been trying to get the arm to uh, move out and in again. Um, I've tried, because uh, it's been slightly uh, hitting the bottom, I've tried uh, uh, sort of washers on there, but that didn't uh, that brought the arm out, but didn't actually make much difference. So it's, it's I need to angle it slightly. So I've just tried packing it out there. It worked um, pretty well, but it pushed uh, earlier. It worked pretty well, but it pushed it out too far, and then the door wouldn't shut. So I'm just trying just thin layers of gaffer tape at the moment, just to bring it out, and I'm almost there. So it's, it just slightly catches at the bottom. Um, but if I bring it out too much of an angle, uh, the bottom of the door doesn't shut. So <laughs> it's a, just a quick balance. I'm just sort of working on that at the moment. Okay, so I've um, adjusted it uh, an enough for the minute. So I'll just uh, show you. This is just with a little manual control, so it's a bit jumpy. But that's the door opening. I'll be the arm going up and down and ultimately the grippers will do that I'm just manually doing the grippers as you can see it's a bit jumpy but I mean once it's programmed in you can sort of set the uh, the start and stop points of it all And it's not hitting the side of the uh, the door as it comes in, side of the uh, frame. You can hear the servos buzzing slightly, but uh, that's all right. I had to. Um, so. I've packed out the top, let's just pan up a bit, I've packed out inside there a little bit, um, I've pushed these back at slightly so they um, push the door forward, so if I shut that, so take them in there, um, I've brought that at the, sorry pan down, I've just brought this out a little bit. It's not quite um, 
straight down there is what the problem is and I've, I've, I've pushed through with the uh, with a screw just at the top there you can just see but I'll, I'll patch that up with a bit of paint because I didn't have really short screws and it just popped through uh, on the on the hinge side of it but um, that's working so I'm pleased with that That's all in camera, all in focus. So that's that one. Um, I'm going to do the other side now. And once I'm happy with that, then I can fix the uh, the third, you know, the top relay because I don't want to cut and glue that in because I, I was taking the arm on and off. So um, I think that's um, that's looking good. Well, I've been working on the other door and I've got this one to work quite well actually so uh, this one closes a, a lot better uh, I think just the print the gap there is probably a little bit better as well so you can see I put the the hinge locks in there just to uh, and there's one at the top okay so that's the door opening Oops. <laughs> Okay, so there is the door opening and closing. Just do that. Swing it around a bit. I've just got to actually adjust the servo so that goes right up. Yeah, I've just got to move the servo horn on that one. So just a touch more adjustment, but I'm getting there on this one. But the door actually closes really nicely on that. Just putting um, the charge port, uh, this is a modification uh, on the charge port. This is by uh, Maskell off uh, Thingiverse. Um, you can see, let me just lift that out a little bit. Just pop the pin in there. So I've just got That with the bar, and I've drilled a hole through there. I'll show you the back of it in a minute. So there's the pin in there. That slots in. So that will... Move like that. To hold that down, I've got the, the normal, uh, you know, the, the locking wedge, but I've just cut a bit off there like that just so it'll sit over the um i think yeah you can you can just see over the the, the um the paper clip wire hold that in place because otherwise because i this isn't the full mod because uh this this bit isn't Maskell's uh design this is i've just this is the original so i've just uh drilled it out a bit but if that's held up at the top That will work. I'll hold it. Hold up. Yeah, I've got to work at that a bit because it's still riding up. So I might have to. It's not totally smooth at the moment. Jams at the back there. 
Okay, so a few more minutes fiddling around with it. I've just, I bent, so I put it all together, so I'm not going to take it apart again because I've got it more or less working. But I, I bent the paper clip down so it's pushing down on the, uh, on, on this lever so it didn't pop out and then uh, got that piece in right to the very back. So it's, again, it's holding that, um, so pushing the camera there. So it's holding the, 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 the lever in place. So that's working. Um, I'm gonna, I've got to shave the inner bit of this door down a bit because when it, you can feel it, it locks in there, but then it jams. It's actually catching on this inner edge. So I'm just gonna shave that down a bit. I had a bit of warping. You can actually see it on there. Um, so um, I'm just, uh, I mean, it, it looks fine from the outside actually, but uh, I've got to fill that. I haven't painted or filled this door actually, but I'm just gonna shave that inner because it's, it sort of catches against that piece there. So I'm just gonna file that in a bit down. Um, but the hinge itself is, as you can see, it's, it's the door's catching. The hinge itself is doing doing what it's meant to do. Um, there's uh, going to be a, a a little servo inside there, uh, which I'll get to in a minute. But I'm just going to get this door working properly, and then we're we'll looking on the inside of it. This view inside the unit, you can see the servo there. I've just got to adjust that slightly because it's if it over. Um, moves it locks itself that side which you can see I think so uh, I'm gonna play around with that a little bit it's not locking up actually it's, it's all right but because uh, that is now that's fully closed and that's that's open but not up quite open enough so I've just got to as I say just move that head around a little bit but that's that one uh, the other one that I have adjusted Let's just swing around so you can see that one so that's that one and because uh, that's that's fully closed there so that's roughly where the servo bit should be Push that bit. when you put these in there are um, screw um, you know self, sort of semi tapped holes to screw into to line those up so you haven't got to sort of guess where where that that section goes um, also you can just see that's the other so I'll get the camera right so you can just see here uh, the um, let me plug that one in that's a little mod I'm still working on I've just got it, it's just, um, you can actually see it shut in there. It's, I've just got that stuck on with a, a double-sided sticky pad at the moment, it's not glued on or anything. But let me show you the other side of that working. So I just bounce the camera. So I still haven't quite got the uh, the movement on that. I'll just hold that servo in place because it's just stuck on the mount. You can see I've got it to open and close. I haven't got, quite got it right at the moment, but uh, it's getting there. Swing it around again. What else have we got? In here, um, in here, the back of this door, uh, I'm having. Um, I didn't put the bar in. Uh, th this is this is the place where you need to make sure the the, the slot is uh, clear. Uh, between the two sections, the lower bit and the middle bit. I did make sure it was clear, but I didn't actually line up the lower section and the middle, uh, the next ring correctly. So the hole was still out. Um, so I'm trying a different version. You can just see in there, um, I've got a servo mounted. I'll do the links to this. These are, these are mods available on, on uh, Thingiverse. Um, and this whole uh, assembly here is me trying to, um, I'll show you actually, I'll explain it. I've, 
I've got the uh, actual actuator in there, but it's too far forward. Um, so when when it uh, moves the door, which I have in here somewhere, what I've got here is when it closes, uh, it's it's closing sort of like that. It's it's closing with the bottom pushed out. Uh, because this is not sitting in correctly. Um, I haven't worked on this for a couple of weeks, but the last thing I did was reprint this piece uh, uh, smaller by 10%, I think, just to so it doesn't throw out so much. I've also I was also at one point going, as you can see, I've been thought I was going to cut a slot there so I could get in and put um, uh, push the bar back a bit, which I still might actually open up this whole section and then just cover it over again um, with a with a um, a locking socket piece in there um, so it I've sort of got it working but I need a, quite a bit more work on that one but it will work um, so it's my own fault not to, but I know that's a weak point in the design I know on the, the the later versions that whole assembly is different anyway so if you're doing the mark 2 or you know the later version is I don't think you'll come across these problems um, so back up to as I was showing on there I've I've since the last video I've got that to sit in um, that's never been painted or filled as you can see so that actually still needs a bit of uh, cleaning and tidying up to uh, to to do something with I mean it, and on the original design I don't think that open and close anyway so it's not you know it's just something that you can do um, so once I've got those doors done I'm just gonna I've, I've pretty much finished the assembly of the body completely I've left out I haven't f um, put in uh, all, all the actual extra parts and everything just so because it's easy to get in uh, while I'm working on it but I've sorry just readjusted the camera angle so just to show where I am I've, um, we've got the, these parts working we've got the, these doors working I've almost got this this section working I've just got to tidy up that door itself but uh, those are the only sort of um, those are the, literally the last mechanical parts of the body I need to do um, on all the uh, the greebles and all the little sections and pieces all ready to go in they're just not put in there because they just get in the way so um, a, a few more hours I suppose just um, finalizing the servo actuate um, mechanisms get them so I'm happy with them um, and then I can just assemble all the parts um, I think I'll put the legs on uh, and the feet and the wheels on and everything um, which which will um, be a completed R2D to put the dome back on. I've got to uh, repaint the dome slightly, but I can't do that in in the winter. So I'll do that in in, uh, in the springtime. For the dome section, I'll just show you. You can see where the dome is. Hold on a second. Um, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's hanging off the roof. Um, these gaps, all, all the, the the pieces. I'm just going to um, hot glue in for the time being when I get round to putting that. On just so they're all there. The legs are just hanging uh, mid-air at the moment and the feet, I've got a bit of, uh, that's the back of the um, R2 there, that's part of my in-move hanging up there. Uh, what else have we got hanging off the roof? We've got, got in-move legs there and I've got part of a wing section sitting down there and in the corner I've got a tucked in aeroplane in the corner there so I'm sort of juggling space around at the moment but uh, once I can assemble all the bits into the R2-D2 uh, I'll save a lot of space and I think that's where I am for the minute I I'm, haven't got much time to do much more work on the R2 uh, for the next week or so but uh, uh, at least it's where it is um, it's looking it's looking quite good <laughs> 